All right, another tutorial. Um, this is gonna be for Twin Flame. Uh, my favorite song off the album, my boy Will's favorite song off the album, and it's my most popular cover, so I think you guys like this song. Uh, it starts out with the acoustic um, for two different riffs and then goes into that final solo, so I'll be teaching you all of that, so let's get started. All right, so there, the first acoustic riff, um, is what we'll be tackling right now. Uh, there's two ways to play it, I'll show you both, but my way is playing it all on the lower strings just because I think it sounds cooler and it keeps the same shape, so it's a little easier to play, in my opinion. Um, so you're gonna start playing like a power chord shape, um, but you're gonna play them separately. It's the same thing with um, Sid and Nancy, if you watch that one, where uh, it's like a power chord shape, but you just play them separately. Um, so. It'll be 8 and 10, so 8 on the E, 10 on the A string. And you're going to go down one fret to the 7 and 10. To keep the 10 on the A, but move this down a fret to 7. And if you need help reaching that, you can always just use your pinky. Instead of your ring. And then um, you go down to the 5th and 7th frets. Same shape, so five on the A or five on the E, seven on the A, and then um, one and three. And then every once in a while, um, they'll have this little ending. Normally, it's every two times, but there's an occasion where he plays it on back to back playthroughs of the riff. So just um, be on the listen for that. Uh, pretty easy to pick up on just on the way he's singing, but it goes. So on the D string, you're gonna go two, three, two, and then three on the A. So just go, and then you're gonna go, go back. So yeah, that is the um, first acoustic bit. Uh, and when you don't do that, you just go and then back to the so just listen out for that um so then you know when to do your special ending all right so this is the second acoustic riff um it's a little bit more finger picky so so i'll just play it through just repeats um, so basically uh, just to keep it very simple it's keeping the same root notes that we did so if you care to know uh, three two open and, and one um, so C B A F uh, so it's keeping those in the so that's that's the same notes we use for the first one Um, so it's keeping the same root notes, just adding the So um, that's uh, one on the B to three open uh, E And then open E twice and then three on the B. So that just that pattern just repeats. So but you're just um, changing the root notes, so um, and you can also play this F here. I mean, I just played it like this for the cover, just to have the low F, but you can also play for the ending. So basically, you play a, you're just playing, you're finger picking the fifth string and the top string. So uh, you're just doing that pattern, changing the, so it's gonna go strong, uh, the fifth and the second. Open, 
and then third on the top string and then you're gonna go down and then that that pattern where it's just open and then three on the B and repeat that pattern but with a different so A and then there's that F oh <laughs> F uh, so you can either play the low F here but you have to really arc your your hand so that way you don't accidentally bump the bottom string so So you can also play that here. This is the same note. So just a little practice and some finger picking. Um, so. Um, so hopefully that made sense. Um, I don't want to make this video too long, but uh, yeah, just basically just alternating root notes in that pattern. So, uh, and then the top pattern being. So you're just combining the two essentially. So hopefully that works out for you guys. And let's go on to my favorite part, the solo. All right, and I got the electric again, so I'll just play through the solo real quick. Um, and one thing I would suggest, I didn't do it, but this pick is all chewed up. Um, so having a nice, fresh uh, pick will also help with that tremolo. Um, so yeah, let's dive into it. So the first note is going to be, and of course, this is just how I play it. Um, there's definitely different ways of playing it, but I'm very confident that this is the correct, uh, or a correct way to play it. So the first one is 12 on the G to 14 to nine, so. Then you're gonna bend this a half step, so instead of, you just bend it to that note. And then repeat. So you can play that three times, so. This is the part where it changes, so 14, 15 on the D uh, to 17 on the G. So you can play that once, then you're going to play the next note is 15 on the B. And then the last one is 17 on the B. So. I'm gonna hang out there a bit, so you're gonna. So, uh, that whole bit. And then here's the tremolo part. So, if just for this part, I'll just play it single, uh, single time, but just know that you'll be tremolo picking. Um, so, it's gonna go 15 to 17. And then 12, and then 10, 8. So you're gonna play that a few times, and then you're gonna end it with, um, wow, I gotta count, 15, 17, 19, 20. So 20, 19, 15, 12. 15, uh, so I'll say it again in case the guitar was playing over it. So 19, or sorry, 20, 19, 15, 12, so. You 
can play that twice. Um, I know I played it a little sloppy. And then this part, like I said, you want to have a nice pick. Um, you can either just, I don't, I couldn't tell listening to it if he's tremolo picking or just single noting it like. Um, so this one, do it, do it easier. Um, so I'm just going to play it single note, you know, 12, 13, 15. And end it with 12. And yeah, that is the solo and that's everything for Twin Flame. I uh, love this song. Thank you guys for the support on the cover and let me know if you guys have any other questions. I'll be happy to answer them. So thank you guys for watching and I'll catch you next time.